Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you all know that we are doing a 700 subs merch giveaway over on Twitter. If you want to go and enter that, I'll leave a link in the description to the giveaway. All you have to do is retweet the giveaway and be subscribed to the channel and you have a chance to win a Moldy Worm Gaming mug. I'll be picking the winner on February the 1st. So good luck to everyone and let's get on with the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are continuing our classic farming sim series. So we've only made one episode so far. Uh, we went ahead and planted up some uh, fields. We went and harvested a field. Now off camera I went ahead and actually finished planting up that big field with the industrial. Um, I also went ahead and uh, finished harvesting with the combine and the John Deere so all the crop is off the field now um, so we actually need to go ahead and bale that up and I have gone ahead and bought a baler for us today and we also went ahead and uh, fertilized the field and it was a pretty good tractor and the range that the fertilizer had on it was pretty big as well so didn't take me all too long uh, but today we've got a load more stuff to go and do as I mentioned we need to actually go ahead and bale up the field we're harvesting in the last episode so I've gone ahead and bought this John Deere baler over here is a it is a round baler um, so I've tried to keep it as classic as I could I couldn't find any like really classic balers um, so this was the best I could do this is a mod so if you're trying to find this in your game it is a mod um, but we're also going to go and harvest some hay as well. We're going to do some hay making. Um, so we're going to use the mower over there, that big green machine. And then we've got a hay bob here and a tedder. And I also went ahead and bought another 135, um, the red one this time. And you can see it's got a loader on here. That's to load our bales onto the trailer, which I also went ahead and purchased, which is just here this green trailer so we can go ahead and load our big round bales on there and then we'll find somewhere to put them um, but yeah let's go ahead and hop into the John Deere I've parked all the machines in the shed over here you can see I've gone ahead and finished planting up that field that is still growing but this field down here that we were harvesting last time I have finished so we need to go ahead and actually harvest this up so, we'll turn on the baler, lower the pickup, and it actually lowers the whole baler, that's pretty cool, I've never seen that before. And there we go, we are actually baling now, um, we can go for a bit of first person I think, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just do a little bit of this field, and then we'll move on to something else.
Okay, so we've done about a quarter of the field here. Um, we've still got quite a lot to go, as you can see, but I'm a little bit fed up of bailing. I want to go and see if the, our new 135 Massey Fergie can actually lift these bales onto the trailer. I haven't actually tested it, so I probably should have done that. Um, but we're going to just go ahead and ditch the baler and I will go ahead and finish up the baling off camera um, before the next episode and then we'll probably have to cultivate it in the next episode but we'll go ahead and just uh, ditch that baler there for now it's not going to hurt there we've got quite a few bales um, we've got a few trailer fulls so let's just go ahead and hitch up the trailer first and then we'll bring the 135 over and see if we can actually lift any of these bales. Right, so here we go. I've got a counterweight on the back of it just so um, obviously it doesn't tip forwards. Um, it's a 500 kilo weight so it's pretty heavy. Um, so I'm hoping that should counter the weight of the tractor. I've got the bale spike attachment on the front so we can just pierce into the bale like that. That's actually a little bit low. Let me just go ahead and lift that up. We want to try and center it as best as we can. Okay. Can we lift it? We can. Okay. I was half expecting it to tip forward. If I stop hard, does it tip forward? No, it is pretty good actually. So that weight on the back does help us out massively. And we've got this bale trailer here. Now, I could have used like a forklift or something, but um, there was no like classic forklift mods that I could find. And I really wanted to buy a 135. We already have the um, MF20, um, but I want to have a go with the loader on the 135. And it can actually pick up the bales, so why would we not use it? It's a cool old tractor, we've got a loader on the front. We can go ahead and scoop up a few bales, so I'll go ahead and load up this trailer and then we'll go ahead and see where we can dump it. We need to try and find like a shed or somewhere. Um, we want to dry store these bales until we need them. So I'll find a suitable place and then we'll go and do some hay timing. So that's not every bale that we have in the field, there's still a few just up there, there's three left, um, but I don't want to overload this trailer too much, just because I feel like they'll all fall off if I try and drive it, but let's hop into the John Deere, and uh, hopefully they're not going to move too much, I did move it around in the field and they seemed okay, they seem to be pretty stable. So um, I think we're going to put them in the shed with the roller doors, just here. We'll just put them by the doorway until we do need them. Um, these trailers aren't actually the best trailers to use. These sort of, well, as a bale trailer it's very good, but you can get some like automatic loading trailers that will like scoop the bale up and stack it perfectly for you. And they're just a bit more convenient to use. Um, I know they're not as realistic, but they're a bit more convenient. Um, but, you know, since we're doing this old classic farming sim thing, I thought it would be pretty cool to use the bale trailer and we get to use the 135. So we'll just go ahead and park that in there. I'll go ahead and grab the 135 and then we'll go and unload these. And there we go. Um, we've offloaded all those bales. I know it's not really the proper way to stack bales um, but for the purposes of ease and this video not taking too long um, that will do perfectly. They look absolutely super in there. We'll just go ahead and ditch that tractor there and we'll hop back in the John Deere. I'm gonna have to back this out of here aren't I? Um, 
which is going to be very interesting how I can turn around in here now the good point of these trailers is they have a very tight turning radius so I can do that and not have to back it out there we go so we've uh, bailed a few bales we've offloaded them I want to actually start hay timing and we'll probably continue that over into the next episode um, so we'll go ahead and hitch up um, some more implements we'll just leave that there for now we do need to actually go and cut the grass first with the mower here so let's go ahead and start this thing and lift up that mower now it does look very much just like a combine um, but it is in fact a mower which is pretty cool this is another mod um, it's been around for quite a while this mod actually I have used it in the past um, but this is the field that we're going to be harvesting just here um, if I could see what I was doing that would be a bit nicer um, I've not actually used this mower on this map before so I'm just going to go like a few times around the outside we'll start off the mowing and then in the next episode we'll probably continue and uh, do the actual hay timing and bail it up but we'll go ahead and lower that and turn it on and there we go we actually get um, kind of like a ready made heap I don't know what you call it, a strip I guess and you can see how it works it kind of uh, cuts it and then like a combine it forces it all into the middle and then out into the back like in a line so it's a pretty cool machine I don't know if these are real I assume they are um, but I've never seen one of these before like on a video or anything if you guys know about these machines I don't even know what they're called an E303 something or other um, if you have one of these in real life send me a picture but yeah it's a pretty cool machine very useful and it is like a classic farm implement so I thought it would be kind of cool to use so I'll go ahead and do a few strips around here and continue the mowing and then off camera I'll finish up the mowing and we'll set off hay timing and I will also go and bale the rest of that field up So there we go guys, as you've seen it's a pretty big field so I'm keen for this video not to go on too long. Um, I will go ahead and finish up this field off camera. Um, we're not going to do any hay timing in this episode, I'm just going to cut the grass now and finish it off camera and then in the next episode we'll go ahead and scale it and um, we'll go ahead and row it up ready for baling, we'll make some nice hay bales and I will also finish baling up the field we harvested in the last episode that we started today and move all the bales into that other shed but that's going to do it for today's video if you did enjoy it I'd appreciate you dropping a like and subscribe we are trying to reach a thousand subs here on the channel so if you want to help us out with that I would greatly appreciate it that's going to do it thanks all so much for watching hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one